Hi guys, it's Mark of Tier Welcome to yet another video. Today, we're going to be adding a block to the game. So, let's jump right into it. So, you want to go into your code again, and in, in it, you want to add a new class called Mod Blocks. Okay, so you want the same methods as in Mod Items. So, you want a public static void in it. A public static void register, a public static void register renders a public static void register block and a public static void register render okay so the first one we're going to fill in is the register render method so if you go over to mod items and you can copy this one that is here and you can paste this here and I can control shift F to do that and here you see it says item so we need to actually make this but as a parameter, we're going to take in a block because that's what our things are. So we can take in a block, and you want to hover over this and import it from net.minecraft.block. Now and you want to do item item equals item dot. Once it loads, eventually get item from block and put block and then that's registering the render no, register block this is going to take in the block as well and like before it is a game registry dot register block block and it's block dot get unlocalized name dot substring five and it's done that again so there we go so that's all the methods in here now we want to first create a new package here and do dot blocks now this is for all our custom blocks because we can't just have it extend you can't just use like before in items we had it as um new item you can't do that you have to actually make it so we're going to make a new one and I'm going to do the copper or so it's block copper or and then just put in here extends block and then import this then it'll ask to create a constructor so create a constructor this is the material now because it's we can actually just change this here so it's material dot rock that's what ours is going to be but in here as a parenthesis we're going to set it to be and this should be public by the way we're going to set the parenthesis to be the unlocalized name so string unlocalized name and then we can do a couple of stuff here. So this dot set unlocalized name to unlocalized name. So that's all we need in there. So now in here we can actually do a public static block, and it's going to be copper underscore or then copper underscore or is equal to a new block copper or and in here you want to put in the localized name so as it's going to be copper underscore or and just have to import this now we can register it so you want to register block copper or and what I forgot to do here was actually to tell the game that we've registered it so system dot out dot print line and it's going to be registered block 
then block dot get on localized name dot substring five. Okay, now register renders. We're not going to do fill in this yet. Now, what we need to go to is where your main class is, and then you have to just put the two methods in here. So mod blocks dot init and mod blocks dot register. Now we do this after mod items because, like, blocks can have a item block which you would register in mod items, so it has to be done before. Now you can actually run the game, and you should see that if you do the same method that we did last time, giving you the thing, you should actually get the block. It will have, it won't have a good proper name, and it will, in fact, be untextured. Because that's what we're going to do next. So let's just wait for the game to load. Before you, in fact, run the game, just make sure it's print line here. I forgot to do that, so you can run it now. Just make sure it's print line so it actually sends it to the console. Okay, so the game is loaded, and you should see here that the model definition for copper underscore or is not found. But if you scroll up a bit in here, you should see that it says registered block so it has in fact done that now I can load up our world and if we do the same as before once it has loaded which shouldn't take too long if it's responding and it has loaded we should be able to get the item so if we go into chat and do slash give press tab then do b o e which is your mod id and now you can actually press tab so copper or so this is our copper or you can place it it has no texture like i said it's got no name and that's what we're going to do now so you can save and quit quit game now so here we're going to add the um register render so let's register render for it so that's registered it but it isn't actually going to do anything you need to go into resources so first you want to go into lang then you want to right click on it open with right click open with text editor and I like to leave a gap for all the items to be above and all the other ones to be to below so it's tar.copper underscore or dot name equals copper or and that's our name done now you want to open up your file explorer go into your default resource pack from last time and you want to just get a model so I'm going to get the dirt model because that's very basic so if you just find a dirt model and we can open this up so all of it is dirt so I just come, went and copied that now we can go over to where our mod is so you can just direct all the way through like before and now in models you want to create a new folder called block and in this new folder you want to right click new text document and it's going to be copper underscore or and then change it to dot json yes so open this up paste it and then just change this to voe colon blocks slash copper underscore or now save that now all of the like blocks actually have a block state because that's something that we're going to go into later on in a different tutorial so you're going to add a new folder and call it block state because every block has a state now in here you want to right click new text document and it's same as before copper underscore or and j s o n 
Now I'm actually going to open it in this one. So copy underscore or and just make sure to right click open with text editor. Okay, so now in here you want to do two squiggly brackets, open them up a bit, press tab, and do variants, press colon and number two squigglies. Then it's normal. And space and it's two squigglies again. And then in quotation marks you want model. And then you want the name of the model, so it's going to be your model D, so as is BOE, and then colon, and then it's the actual model which we've got here, so that's copper underscore or if I put it in actually copper underscore or and then that should be it. So that's our block state done. Now all we need is the texture. So like before you want to actually head over to the textures now I'm just going to get the iron ore texture and open it in paint.net again so if you do iron and find iron ore same as last time I'm just going to create a basic texture so press control A, control C, control N OK and you should already know the sizes from last time. Now we're just going to make it look like copper. So I will start off with the dark bits first. And make sure to have the tolerance off and disable that. And press control shift on the darkest one so it adds on that. And I think I need it a bit lighter, so I'm going to put it on 70. Actually 75. Then we're going to go to 80. And then we're going to control shift on that. That one. Now that looks really good. So you want to save it again. So if you go to where your mod is found, all the way to where you stuck it before, except for not in items, you need to make a new folder in here called blocks. And then in this folder, you want to save this as copper underscore or and hit save press ok and now we can close that now we can actually go over to our proxy now it's on the client proxy again so we have the register renders for the mod items here now we need to just add it for the mod block so it's mod blocks dot register renders and we want to go over to the default resource pack and head over to the models and you want to actually go over to item and then you want to create another model here and this is going to be called copper underscore or again we can in fact copy it from here so we have copper ingot here we can in fact control c this and then in here right click new untitled text file paste it and then just change it to blocks and copper underscore or so just rerun your game and everything should be fine so okay the game is loaded and we have no errors in there so we can in fact open our world and we should see everything is working perfectly now we load up our world and we see that we have a textured copper ore and you can in fact place it like a block and it is your basic block so that is all for today's tutorial hope you enjoyed and i love to see you in the next